वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL means learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means N M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn determining advertising budget hello and welcome to sakshat e content on marketing management today we are going to understand determining advertising budget advertising can be defined as any paid form of non personal presentation or promotion of ideas goods or services by an identified sponsor The advertising budget of an organization is a subset of the larger sales budget and within that the marketing budget. Advertising is a part of the sales and marketing efforts. Money spent on advertising can also be seen as investment in building up the business. Budget for advertising. To be successful Advertising should carry messages that appeal to your customers when they want to buy and reach them through the media they use. It's amazing how many ad campaigns are based on trying to resolve a business problem that is clearance sales designs to reduce inventory using such a slogan as everything must go or must reduce overstock. The US Small Business Administration advises businesses that the main ingredient for successful advertising is to pitch your product or services to resolve a customer's problem. Time the advertisement campaign for when the customers want to buy not based only upon when you want to sell. choose the advertising medium based on the ability to reach to prospective customers if there is a golden rule for running an advertising campaign it is that you have to stick to it sustained advertising is equal to recognition is equal to trust is equal to sales advertising campaign is a long term investment that takes time to show a return your budget must reflect this reality expect to run your advertising campaign for 2 to 4 months before your phone really starts ringing 
When setting the advertising campaign budget, there are two costs to be considered, production costs and media costs. Budgeting for both is critical for success. Advertising budget is the amount of money which can be or has to be spent on advertising of the product to promote it, reach the target customers and make the sales chart go on the upper side and give reasonable profits to the organization. Before finalizing the advertising budget of an organization, one has to take a look on the favorable and unfavorable market conditions which will have an impact on the advertising budget. The market conditions to watch out are as given below. Number 1. Frequency of the advertisement. Number 2. Competition and clutter. Number 3. Market share of the product. And number 4. Product life cycle stage. There can be other conditions too, but the major conditions are this four. If you look to them one by one, number one, frequency of the advertisement. Frequency of advertisement means the number of times advertise has been shown within the description with the description of the product in the allotted time slots. Thus, if any organization needs more advertising frequency for its product, then the organization will have to increase the advertising budget. Second, competition and clutter. The companies may have large number of competitors for its product. And also, there are many advertisements shown which is called clutter. If clutter is there, the organization has to then increase the advertising budget. Third, market share. To get a good market share in a comparison to their competitors, the organization should have a product which is better in terms of quality, uniqueness, demand and catchy advertisements with the resultant response of the customers. All this is possible if the advertisement budget is high, comparatively high. Fourth, product life cycle stage. If the organization is a newcomer in the market or if the product is on its introduction stage then the organization has to keep budget high to, the ma to make place in the market with the existing players and to have frequent advertisements. As the time goes on and product becomes older the advertising budget can come down as then the product doesn't need frequent advertising because it is known in the market. So this were the major market conditions to watch out for. Methods for budgeting for advertising, if you look to them, a famous comment usually attributed to Lord Leverham goes, I know that half of my advertising budget is wasted, but I am not sure which half. It is notoriously difficult to measure the effect of advertising on a business sales. Advertising is just one of the variables that might affect sales in a particular period. How can a business know whether a specific advertising campaign was effective? If you look to that as a percentage of sales, advertising expenditure varies enormously from business to business, from market to market. There can be various approaches to advertising budget. We look to few, few methods out of them. Method 1. Fixed percentage of sales. In market with a stable, predictable sales pattern, some companies set their advertising spend consistently at a fixed percentage of sales. This policy has advantage of avoiding an advertising war, which could be bad news for profits. However, there are some disadvantages with this approach. This approach assumes that sales are directly related to advertising. Clearly, this will not entirely be the case since the elements of the promotional mix will also affect sales. If the rule is applied when sales are declining, the result will be a reduction in advertising just when greater sales promotion is required. Next method is same level as competitors. 
This approach has widespread use when products are well established with predictable sales patterns. It is based on the assumption that there is an industry average spent that works well for all major players in the market. A major problem with this approach in condition to the disadvantages set out for the examples above is that it encourages business to ignore the effectiveness of their advertising spend. It makes them lazy. It could also prevent a business with competitive advantages from increasing market share by spending more than average. Method 3 Objective and Task The objective and task approach involves setting marketing objectives based on the tasks that advertising has to complete. These tasks could be financial in nature, for example, achieve a certain increase in sales, profits, etc. or related to the marketing activities that is generated by the campaigns. For example, number of inquiries received quoting the source code on the advertisement, increase in customer recognition or awareness of the product or brand which can be measured, number of viewers, listeners or readers reached by the campaign, etc. Method 4. Residual The residual approach, which is perhaps the worst of all, is the based on advertising budget on what the business can afford after all other expenditures. There is no attempt to associate marketing objectives with levels of advertising. In a good year, large amounts of money could be wasted. In a bad year, low advertising budget could be guarantee a further lower for the sales. Various other approaches can also be there, but we have seen the few major ones. Importance of advertising budget. One of the most important considerations one must have when advertising the product is budget. Advertising budget can literally make or smash the business. It is important to get the most out of advertising rupees. Advertising business usually cost money. There are plenty of ways reach to the market that is beneficial to budget and will help, help the expanding the baseline. It is important to note that big budget used carelessly could just be as bad as having too small budgets. In order to effectively research different uh, types of advertising one will need to experiment and research which types of advertising are the best for the business. Many entrepreneurs try to shock and ew their market by spending as much as they can in a short period of time. This tactic rarely works. Business needs to be in a public eye generally for a long period of time for it to pick up steam. Building advertising campaign is similar to building the business, tweaking and analyzing it over many months or years to make sure that one is going to uh, be in a right direction. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the class and watching. I have learned a lot. Did you? Have a good day from the learner.